Hi, everyone, and welcome back. This is Vince of VincePrep.com. I'm very honored today to be able to interview a former client who's been very successful in his application process. Um, his story is quite unique. I've never met anyone like him. And later on, I'll be sharing um, his one minute video essay that he created, which was my favorite one, honestly, I've ever seen. It was so fresh, so original. And um, we heard from the admission office uh, for that school that it really had a, a strong impact. And I hope it'll give you a, a sense of, of hope if you're trying to make a video essay that you can really be yourself. Hello, I'm Ryu Taro from Japan. My name, Ryu, means dragon in Japanese, and Taro means boy. But I'm not a boy. I'm 43 years old, so please remember me as a middle-aged dragon. <laughs> Just a joke. Anyway, I'm so excited to have a chance to introduce myself for future classmates. I want to share my experiences. I was a TV director in Japan for more than 17 years, but last year I changed my career completely. Now I work on an electric component manufacturer. That is my family business. I decided to take over it. To be honest, I have few backgrounds about management, accounting, finance, but I know how to produce a good TV program sustainably. I think this is common essence for business. I want to share with you. Um, so I'm going to hand it over to Ryutaro Sasa, Mr. Sasa. I call him Sasa-sama in Japanese. And we've made a Japanese version of this video, but now we're going to challenge an English version for those of you watching uh, out in the larger world outside of, outside of Japan. So let me hand it over to introduce yourself and say whatever message you'd like to share today, Mr. Sasa. Thank you for wonderful introducing me again. And I'm concerned with my poor, poor English. Uh, but uh, I, I try to introduce myself in English. May I go now? Yeah, please. And don't worry about it. Um, the thing I like about you is that you're, no matter what, in any language, you're a very confident communicator. Um, so as you like, as slowly or clearly as you like, um, and don't don't feel any shame at all. Your English is great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, hello, Ed. I'm Ryutaro Sasa from Japan, and uh, I was a TV director in Japan for many years, since 21, uh, after I graduated from my Waseda University, and I have been working for as a TV director uh, for 17 years, and two years ago, I changed my career completely, and now I work for an electric component manufacturer that was founded by my grandfather, a uh, kind of uh, family business, and I uh, decided to take over it in near future. However, uh, as I said to you, I have a minimal background about management or uh, uh, finance and so on. So before taking over it, I uh, want to join the business school to intensively to learn how to manage our company or how to, how to change in this uh, chaotic world. And uh, and yeah, that's a short, quick <laughs> introduce. You created a really cool product. I don't know if you have it near you. You, you when we when we were working together, uh, you often had your cell phone. Do you have it near you now? Ah, uh, yes. Tell us this a little is, bit about this. It's a very ingenious product that I'm looking forward to getting. Introduce you to you uh, my uh, smartphone case. This is the one at minus five heat sink. Uh, uh, just one year last summer, I. Uh, launched this pro product in crowdfunding in Japan. And this function is uh, quite uh, simple. By attaching this smartphone case, it would release the overheat by uh, five degree uh, Celsius. Uh, as I uh, talked to you, my company is an electronic component manufacturer. So we have already uh, 
had enough uh, knowledge uh, about uh, heat releasing. But th this technology is used only for uh, PCB, circuit board like uh, IC chips or so on. So I just uh, uh, utilize it for smartphone case. So by <laughs> it is difficult to explain. It, you were you were telling me you were telling me for example use cases would be Pokemon Go or also um, controlling a drone. Uh, this is totally my original idea because uh, I was a TV director when I was uh, uh, shoot it uh, by using drone uh, in especially in hot summer day. Uh, sometimes we I face the problem with. Uh, by using smartphone case as a uh, by using smartphone as a drone controller, and it required a high performance, and sometimes uh, it shut down by overheating. And after I changed my uh, career, I noticed uh, it could be useful for or uh, smartphone to release our original. Uh, technology to uh, release or to release when in uh, PCB. So, Got it. So it's great. In, in the especially, future, especially in the summer. <laughs> yes, in winter, uh, no one uh, asks us to <laughs> to buy it. <laughs> Um, is there anything else you want to say in English for people um, as a kind of motivational message? Uh, the process for you was very intensive, I know. And is there anything you know now about applying? Um, I look forward to speaking with you again when you're maybe when you're in London or even after you graduate, because mm -hmm. I, I, my favorite thing is to watch and see how MBA really changes uh perceptions and experiences and opportunities that may open up for you that you haven't even couldn't even imagine at this time but but just to get to this stage um, mm. took a lot of effort and hard work is there any advice you want to give to people watching this video um, as they begin their process okay that's a, a good question because now uh, we all face this a chaotic pandemic situation in the world and so uh, it might be difficult for you to decide to emerge in all one year in this chaotic situation however uh, I, I think this would be a chance for your future because uh, 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 we we must be resilient to this uh, situation so uh, st studying in abroad, studying in the United States or United Kingdom for, for one year would change your future dramatically. So uh, near future, uh, we have to change our uh, um, the way of living or uh, the um, way of uh, management or our of, of of course including my company and your company you have to change to adjust to this situation so so the, that's why i i want to uh emphasize this is a uh mm, difficult time but uh, at, at the same time this would be a chance uh, op uh, opportunity to we I think uh, we should take an advantage of this opportunity to, to change dramatically. So uh, this is a, my a basic motivation for the future. Uh, I am confident of my future uh, despite, oh, despite this pandemic uh, chaotic situation. So mm. nice. That's, that, that's great to hear, especially these days. Um, so. I'll sign off this video for now. For those of you watching, I, I plan to do more of these kinds of interviews um, with current or former clients to hear their story and motivate you as you begin or pursue your journey uh, and still keeping hope alive that study abroad 
um, as soon as we can all travel again, um, study abroad is still a very um, excellent opportunity to open your open your open your eyes and open your perspectives to a larger world. Um, so thank you, Mr. Sasa, for your time today, and um, thanks to all of you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to know when I've made a new video. I love making these videos, especially with former clients. Every chance I get. So best of luck to you and to your challenge. And thanks again for taking time to be with us today.